Okay, so this video is about how to prepare your business for credit. I'm just going to go to upgrade my plan because I wanted to kind of show you guys if you are um, already incorporated, uh, it's a really good idea just to get the business boost because it's going to give you your business credit and it's also going to give you your personal credit. Um, the reason why I'm saying do this now, you don't have to necessarily buy this um, just yet. Um, you can do the basic option, but uh, the business boost will give you uh, both credit reports. It will give you your uh, personal credit report as well as your business credit for report. The only reason why I say do the business boot boost and then cancel it is if you're trying to build your business credit and you really don't know what it is, you need somewhere to start, right? Because you can't start somewhere you don't even know where to begin. So if you already have a, a business, some people always, um, when they do a business credit consult with me, a lot of times they're like, I didn't even know I had a business credit score. Um, but this, biz, this video is about how to prepare yourself um, for funding. So if you're a new business or you've been in business for a while, there are a few things that I feel that's important um, to like make sure that you have the foundational things to start your business. Um, one, you definitely need to know where you're at. You need to know if you even are reporting business lines of credit or even if um, you even have business credit. Now, for those that are complete beginners and you're just starting out and you just have a, a corporation, whether that's an LLC, a S Corp or a C Corp, um, I wanted to go over here and I wanted to go over business tools and talk about um, some of the things that you need as um, a business owner. One of the things I really like about nav.com is that you know, it gives you your personal credit and your business credit. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that you don't you don't need to use your personal credit um i have yet to find a company that doesn't do that except for vendor credit which they give you a nice uh vendors list and they also show you right here let's just click on it um how to um basically they have basically different companies that you can utilize to get net 30. Now these places, um, some of them to me are a little outdated, but these places nine times out of 10, they will not, um, they will not ask you for your uh, personal credit. But if most of the time when I'm talking to business, they want cold hard cash, right? Everybody wants more money to, you know, put into their business, but these are vendor um, credit uh, places where you can go and most of the time they don't ask for your personal credit it's you know what they call net 30 which um, you buy the stuff and you have 30 days to pay back so um, this is a good resource I'm gonna just go back I love this um, this this uh, I, I don't want to say app but this website because it really it really allows you to, it gives you some ways to build your business credit, but it also shows you a way if you're a new business on some of the things you need to do. So um, on this page, there's a few things that I wanted um, to show you that I think it's very important. If you're not registered with Dun & Bradstreet, please do so. Um, I don't want to go, I want to make this video as short as possible, so I'm not going to go to into detail, but if you click on register for Dun & Bradstreet, um, at the, um, if you click on this website, there is a way to get your Dunn's number for free. So whatever you do, um, do not play Dunn and Bradstreet for a Dunn's number and do not pay them to report, which leads me to, it says supplier request template. So um, you can use this template to actually have your businesses report your credit history. So let me just give you a step-by-step -step process. If you're a new business and you're wanting to get funding, you have to build the foundation first. So this is where we're gonna start. Number one, make sure you're registered with Dun & Bradstreet. Number two, select something from this vendor list, purchase some stuff. Like, let me just go back to this vendor list. I always tell people um, my my three favorites um, is Amazon because everybody orders from Amazon. Um, when I used to fix and flip ha houses, I had a, a HD supply, even at your, if you own a home, HD supply is good. Um, Costco, and I just said this in the other video. Why did I keep it? Oh, Sam's Club. Those are my three favorites because I use them in everyday life, and so they go right along with my business. Office Depot is good, but as you guys probably know, there's not that many around. Um, they're far and few in between. So these are some places that you can utilize to actually start building your business credit. Once you order or you start doing um, doing business with your business, I'm just clicking back. 
um, you can then request you can then request um, the supplier you could use this template to ask them to actually report and here's the supplier request template right here you can ask them to report to Experian and so Experian says it requires at least one trade line with three credit experiences um, business owners need at least three trade lines so if you guys didn't see before in my last video I'm just gonna go um, I was I was explaining in my last video I'm just gonna go here right now um, that's why I was saying if you um, don't know what your business credit report it is good to get the 49.99 so you'll know where it is but it said that Experian won't report unless you have three and you can actually go to Experian.com and type in your business name if you're incorporated if you're not that's completely okay I just sent you to right here wait over here where is it why can't I see it Let's see if I could go back over here oh no oh gosh I hate when this happens I don't want that where do I want to go I wanted to go right here but it's like blocking I wanted to go right here why does it won't let me turn okay well I wanted to click on this where it, I showed in the video the beginning of the video of the resources to build your business credit if you're a new business if you're not a new business I'm gonna go back to the credit report um, like I said it's good if you had a, if you've been incorporated for a while to get your credit report and I was explaining in my last video the reason why my numbers were so low here is because um, I have I probably have about three trade lines but I probably don't use them as often and also too i don't have any loans so i just bought a a trade line to see if my experience went up and it did for my business um so i just wanted to explain that and then too like i just said mentioned before if you're curious to know if you have any trade lines you can go to experian.com and type in your business information and they will let you know if you do if you do not it's okay um and that leads me to go over here where it says credit cards and you it gives you a list of resources on how you of what uh, different business credit cards that you can um, purchase so like I was saying um, in a previous video about how to build business credit um, this is another way that you're you could build business credit I always tell people it's so important to have you know business credit separate from your personal credit because a lot of times as entrepreneurs or what I call solopreneurs um, we use a lot of our own personal assets and the best way to differentiate our own personal funds from our business funds is not only having a separate business bank account but also having a business credit card another benefit is is when you use your business credit card it nine times out of ten will not show up on your personal credit card however they will, when you're applying, they will ask for your social security, but nine times out of 10, most business credit cards and business, biz, business credit lines do not show up on your personal credit. So what I wanted you to get from this video, which I seem to not be able to get over here. I'm so sorry. Let me see if it's gonna let me, let me see what this is gonna do. Hold on, sorry guys. I was trying to get over here to other oh, goes business tools. Great, that's what I wanted to get to. I wanted to come back to, I always try to end the video um, where I left off is right here where the business tools, the whole thing about this is how to build, uh, not how to build your business credit, but how to set your business up for funding. Um, one of the things, these are some of the things you need and I'm just gonna recap. Um, if you are interested in doing like government contracts or getting um, government grants, it's really important to have a DUNS number um, so that you look established. And then also to this vendors list, you also want to build your vendor business credit. And then you also have over here your business credit cards they're two different things like i like here it says vendor list normally those are net 30 where you don't pay anything up front um and they're able to report so these two go hand in hand the supplier request template and then um how much loan i don't really do the loan calculator because i in my like last video i was talking about it doesn't make any sense to do like a personal loan because they make you go through so much whereas a business line of credit is like getting a credit card but you don't 
it's not a card. You just go in the bank and you get cash and then you pay for the amount of cash you get. So it's a little different as opposed to if you had a business credit card, if you pull cash, they're charging you like 26%. Whereas a business line of credit, uh, it's like, you know, 4% or 2% and you're actually going into the bank and pulling the cash. It's so much easier. Um, one of the things too, I just want to reiterate, uh, a lot of people, I, I'm just going to repeat this. A lot of people say, oh, you don't have to have good credit or, you know, you can do it on your, uh, you know, everything on your business credit. If you're a new business and you haven't been established, even me and my business have been, I've had it for over 10 years and they still ask for my social security card number. So um, they also have this where you can dispute for stuff found on your personal credit so that you can increase your personal credit um, if you are looking to um, get business credit. Because if you don't have any business history, because like I know a lot of investors, they get at a corporation um, and then they never do anything with it or someone thought about opening up a business and then they never do anything with their LLC. Um, you still can utilize it, but you don't have any, like you didn't file taxes on it. You don't have any, you know, profit and loss. So what they're going to do, they're going to use your personal credit. And I'm here to tell you, because I've helped several people, even if you have no revenue or you haven't reported anything, you still can get business line of credit, but they're going to use your personal credit. And there's a way that you can get around that. So like if you have um, personal credit and you don't have a lot of credit, you can also buy trade lines for your personal credit. Um, I will also have that resource at the bottom of the um, at the bottom of this video if you're wanting to increase your credit scores as well as your business um, credit scores. Uh, like I said in my previous video, I sought out a company, paid them a nice chunk of change to see if their business lines of credit actually work. So I will probably be doing an updated video on that in the next maybe three months to see not only how much money I got, but also how much my credit scores will increase. So I hope this video helped. And um, once again, this is nav.com. It's a really good way to um, see what your personal business looks like I mean, your personal credit scores look like as well as your business credit scores. If you're a new business, this is a good place to learn how to build your business credit. I hope this video helps. Please like, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment box. Once again, thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, please uh, ask in the comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Happy investing.